So today we are at House in the Rock in Wisconsin. And this is quite a weird eclectic house. Um, these big vases are scattered around the property at the entrance with uh, metallic dragons and lizards on them. We're going to be joined today by lovely Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. We already bought tickets, so we're going to go through here. It's a big place, so I don't know if I can get it all in one video, but we'll give it a try. This house was built uh, by a neighbor of Frank Lloyd Wright, and he found out that Frank Lloyd Wright didn't enjoy the looks of the house. I guess it was an eyesore. So to antagonize him, he kept making it more and more gaudy. He put these things all over the property and then he kept making the house bigger and weirder. So you'll see inside here that uh, it's quite odd. So we're gonna head on in and then we'll start the video again in there. So this is the last urn before you head into the house. So we've got some nice lizards down there. Sorry about the lighting on this. It'll get a little bit better indoors when we don't have the contrast of the sky. So this is the uh, main entrance over here. And once you go inside, there's a nice big statue with a waterfall. Kind of an ogre magi, if you know what those are. Over there, the bathrooms have uh, curiosity cabinets in them. Like the women's bathroom has scary dolls, and the men's bathroom has uh, model ships. There's a little bit of everything out here. Then you buy tickets here. And you head on in. So he put these big walkways all over the property. Some are suspended. And some are ground level. And it feels like you're walking through a tunnel. With big timbers for the roof. You can see the walkways kind of go on and on. Random curiosities around the property with uh, streams and marshes and ponds. There's an up close of one of those iron pots.
You can see the walkways and the water scattered all the way around. The walkways kind of turn and spiral and twist. There's a water wheel down there. Each room is a different theme. So you'll see once we're inside, it's quite bizarre. A random statue. Uh, it looks like a monk petting a baby deer. Up there they have some water and bridges. Which I, it looks like they have fish in them too, but we haven't walked over there yet. Maybe we'll hit them on the way out. This is kind of a museum that talks about him. And they do presentations in this museum. So I'm going to skip through this really quickly and then we'll um, continue the video when we get back to the house. into a new music machine. The result was astounding and has fascinated visitors for nearly 40 years. Alex read everything he could find about music machines. He had always been an avid listener to music, especially classical music, and how he searched for all the music directors, music boxes, and music boxes. He also joined the Music Box Society and its Okay, so we're heading back out into the actual house. 
finished up the museum. They have these little displays everywhere. These are the old music machines. Over here they have a dragon from the carousel, different carousel things. This is a massive ship. Wow. The detail on that ship. Amazing. That would have all had to have been hand carved. This looks like some tour guides down here. We're going to skip those. So the lighting here isn't very good, but this is a self-playing orchestra. It's just in a random room in the house. This is on gas stoves and sinks. This looks like it goes back to outside to the next section. <coughs> waterfall built into the house. So this goes out and around, and it's got some views of the area below, or you can go up here. He says to en enjoy the Japanese garden at the end of your visit, so I guess you're supposed to go down there and relax afterwards. Yeah, I see some goldfish or koi or something in there. This is a raised walkway that we're on. You can kind of see pretty high up. Maybe 30 or 40 feet. Down there is the ponds with the walkways through them. The waterfall over there on the far side. fish down there are pretty big. You'll be able to see in there motoring around. This is a nice view overlooking the area. You can look down on some of the rooms. Can't see much inside because of the way he put the roofing on. So we kind of gotta keep going up here. This goes up to the infinity room. So we still have to see the music room in the carousel room. So. This house on a rock is much bigger than I anticipated. This is, this could be an all-day event if you wanted it to be. So make sure you have a lot of spare time if you come here to look at this. The ceilings get a little low here and it gets a little tight. This looks like a stone floor. Some sort of weird texture.
It's all carved right into the rock. You can't really see it very well. But we're under a roof, but right next to a rock. So he built this right on the side of the rock and used the rock as the wall. He got some windows over here that don't let in much light. Some of the roofs are a bit low. Oh, I'll just put a random room in the middle of the rock. Looks like he's got some uh, cooking supplies there and sofas, but there's no way to actually get in the room. I guess you'd have to step over that. Okay, moving along. So this is another long hallway heading up to the infinity room. Or there's a sign that says infinity room. And this is just a fairly brightly lit hallway that shows some of his things here. They have these automated machines playing, music machines. You see it playing the instruments in there? see how high up you are. This is maybe about 80 or 100 feet up. Moving along. He calls this the infinity room because he put mirrors to make it look like you can walk forever, but there's, this is actually the end. The mirrors make it look like it just continues to go on. This sticks out in the middle of nowhere, now hanging over the rock, about 30 feet off the rock. Okay. This is the glass. He has a picture back here to show you how that looks from the outside. Up there they have a little carriage. Yeah, see, so this is how it looks from the outside. Extending over the trees. That's where we just were. Out on the tip of that. It doesn't look safe at all. If you look at the picture first before you walk out there, you might not want to walk out there. And the music player just reset. So it's playing a new song. section of the house. Automated piano. A teak wood inlaid pearl kind of things sitting around here. dark so we're gonna go ahead and shut it off until we get to a lighter area that's where we're going so we're heading down to section two and three now we finished section one that was the infinity room so it sounds like section two and three might be either the music room or the carousel room it's hard to tell there's automated music machines everywhere on this property they just seem to play random music Okay, 
but that one's closed off. Oh, you have to go out through these doors. Hi, you saw the house in the infinity room? Yeah. So up here, uh, I don't know if you can see it off in the distance there, but there's a water wheel. Feeding into a pond. We're heading towards the mill house. Uh, this is section two. It's called the blue room or mill house room. Here's the mill house entrance. It looks like it's going to get dark again. It's got a weird Japanese door. Yeah. Yes, that's a collection of guns, muskets. And this is a collection of glassware. You can see the water wheel outside the window there. Chug it away. This is another automated music machine. This is a knight in armor, or several knights in armor. Here, it looks like an old English style room with lots of knights in armor. This is restrooms over here. This music machine you can put in tokens and it plays the music. So there's a token machine here and you can plug it into tokens over there. And it'll play the music automated. This is more guns. Yeah, different kinds of muskets and other weird old style guns. There's the eight shot pistol. It was famous. Eight and ten shot pistols. They made those and they offered them to the U.S. Army, but the U.S. Army uh, never really liked the idea. This is some sort of a bronze room with clocks. This section is called the Streets of Yesteryear. Beauty parlor. Barber shop. The carry. Statuary. And up above us is trees and people. Wood carver. China imports. Fine China. Chrissy. So these are the machines that you put in tokens and then they do weird stuff. So some of them work, some of them don't seem to work very well. We're going to see what this one does. Curtain's moving too. That could be all it does right there. I feel jit. I want my money back. <laughs> There's the old popcorn stand, peanuts. Okay. As you can tell, we're heading towards a very loud room. Looks like an instrument room. So 
might not be talking in that room. Carriages sitting around here. So we're heading into the next room here. This looks like the whale room. I've seen some signs for whales and ships coming up. It's an octopus grabbing a whale. So that's the whale's mouth. That's his teeth up there at the top. And this is an octopus trying to grab a whale. So this is the octopus garden playing machine. the octopus's eye. Eye 
is as big as me. Okay, so we're up near the top of the whale now. And if you look down, all the way down, you can see the octopus garden. We've been walking up here, this walkway here, for a few minutes, spiraling around. And now we're basically in the whale's mouth. All along here, there are these model ships, which are four to 10 feet long. Some of them Japanese, some of them American, some German battleships and things from World War II. They also had the Titanic. This one has some shells that they used to shoot from the battleship cannons. You can see the shell down there, maybe. They have the older 17, 1800s frigates, 1600s sometimes. These model ships are just amazing. The quality and skill needed to make these. And keeping them in this good a condition in display cases, this big of a collection, wow. And down below us, you can see the whale. Yeah, it's very dark, so you can't always see very well in this place. You really need to light it up a bit better. This is the whale's tail next to me. You might be able to see it stretching up there into the sky. There are some sort of shipping related things. The Queen Elizabeth II, that one was. These are the ship's uniforms for the HMS Victory. Wow, that's an old one. steamer paddle boats, the American steamship Mongolia, whose gun shire fired the first shot for the United States in 1917 and sank a German submarine. So I guess it was that, the Mongolia. Up there in the picture, the sinking of the Lusitania. Here's some more of the old ones. Looks like ivory, carved ivory pieces. The whaler Iona. Ionia. That ivory alone would be worth a small fortune today. The Bark Veronica out of New Bedford. The old divers' uniforms. Seen better days. Kind of go through a bit of a tunnel here. That's going to take us out to the end of the whale chamber, I think. Oh, we got a Soviet submarine. Petrozavosks. Yeah, there's the missile tubes. You can see the Titanic down below us. Quite dark. And now we're up almost above the whale's mouth, equal to his teeth. Still more ships. HF Alexander. Some of the gun ports on that thing.
these are all like logs. There's a menu, the Queen Mary luncheon. They're all the logs and uh, documents and things that you could get on set on board these ships. Preserved for all time, I guess. Here we have more ships. And then finally we're going to hit an end up here. The Turbinia. A trip aboard 80 years ago of the Turbinia. Looks like a beautiful ship. And this is a steamer. And the old paddle boats. Oh, that's a big old musket or deck gun from the boat. That thing's got a bore the size of my wrist almost. Okay, then well, time to head back down. Okay, so we're coming down to the cafe part of it. So we're gonna take a look at this. They have the cafe in the old style, the 1950s style cafe. Young men wanted for the US Navy. If you want to see all this stuff that's on the walls or the rating, you can slow this video down to 25% or even slower to 1 8th speed and you can look at all this stuff on the walls. You look closer at the cars and the buildings and the trains and the ships. There's a lot of these weird things where you can test yourself. You put in a token and you sit on it and it'll tell you uh, 
what your, your uh, score is on the Throne of Passion. This looks like old cameras. And that was an old Packard. A 35, apparently. Okay, so we're going to walk on out of here and see what we have in the next room. So this next section is The Music of Yesterday, presenting the magnificent machines of the magnificent era. We have a lot of glass encased different displays here of musicians playing instruments. That one looks like uh, one of the old machines that used to play. It looks like there's a few more of the machines that you can put tokens into. There's another token machine. And a old glass encased portable band. Wow. Theme. This is a Chinese theme. Yeah. Ooh, so the main, main ass drummer up there and the <laughs> horn blowers. Yeah. I love the lanterns. They're so pretty. And I got some ivory, huge ivory tusks over here. Wow. And then some Chinese houses up here, the pagodas, or the Japanese pagodas. I bird cages. They can take care of us. So we're coming up on the piece de resistance of the whole collection, this massive carousel, and they actually have it working right now. This is supposedly one of the largest carousels in the world.
when you exit the room, you have to go through the devil's mouth over here. Up above us, there's angels. And over on the back of us, there's horses on the wall. All the parasol horses. come here to take this in yourself. Video can't do this justice. Wow. So we're outside now. We have another of those big pots. Let's see if I can get it a little better lighting for you. There we go. You can see the winged lizards on it maybe and this goes out into the forest somewhere it says this is to uh, inspiration point and I can see the rock up there so I guess we're gonna wander out here to inspiration point I can hear music coming from up on the hill so I assume they have another machine up there This just kind of dead ends here. Oh, so we'll head on back. So this is another carousel that we stumbled across. This one looks like dolls. Lots of scary type dolls. Like we might see three or four other carousels here. Let's uh, continue on. Yeah, this is definitely a scary murder doll section. Yeah. 
And the sound was quite weird. Maybe it was the souls of all the people trapped in these doll bodies. Screaming for mercy. It's just a cool house. Like a haunted house. The next one's about the circuses. Oh, okay. Not I think that's enough until we get out of this section. This looks like it's the circus section. And we have circus tents and different figurines all the way up through here. So this room's a little weird. We have some elephants over here. And in here we have this massive wagon filled with a band that plays. So if you put in a token, the whole band plays music. And over here we have wagon wheels. It looks like wagon wheels. Lots and lots of wagon wheels. And here we have a man playing a piano and organs. Oh, this is all moving. trains and the things move. Lots of these move. Many of them are moving. Hit the buttons on them. See they have a button down here. Hit the button. I don't know how to show you all the different ones moving. So if you hold it, then the clamshell opens, and this, that runs, and the boat rocks, and these guys move. You're always in Wonderland. You have to hold it. And this one. So this one's going to move. This is a full orchestra. A whole orchestra that plays. You see their heads moving periodically. top you have some crowd. Looks like they move too. Wow. These are display cases for guns. So you go from orchestras to guns. This whole room's a little dark. There's a lot of different types of guns in display cases. But it's uh, a little too dark to be able to get a good view, so I'm going to go ahead and skip for most of this. Okay, so we're heading towards the exit. For the exit, you have to go past the carousel again. And you're up among the angels now. down on the carousel now. That thing is massive, the biggest in the world. 
and we got an angel here ahead of us, and all in front of us, and behind us, and around us. And this is going to go out to the gift shop. Okay, so thank you all for watching. We're going to head down to the Japanese Garden and Gift Shop, and we'll see you all in the next one.